It's all about the mental approach that you have with life and people not understanding that your biggest enemy is you. My whole book is about you battling yourself. People don't understand is you against you. The only person that gets in your way is you. Nobody else. It's you. Now, when you write a book like this, and especially about something like this, this is like the way you've managed to navigate through life. Mm -hmm. Are do you do you write it out in essays? Do you go, do you do you have like bullet points that you, you you think about, and then once you have those bullet points in your head, then you write on those. I like, how do you, you do it? I will show you. Keep now. it on your phone. It's all all voice notes and transcripts. Okay, mm. so because of your time, you don't have. You don't have the the time to sit and actually write. Mm -hmm. So you need somebody that you can talk to for hours, hours, hours on end. Hey, hey, I need an hour. Block out an hour for me. I got some stuff I want to talk to you about. Kev, what? What's that? All right. Book title ideas, subtitle ideas, my dedications, my introductions. Um, within my introductions, these are all... Powerful paragraphs of things that I've just said that are now transcript. I get to go back and read it. Um, let me see here. There's no conversation at all. I'm going to read one of them. Um, no conversation at all. And that's what the internet has allowed people to do. The internet has allowed people to skip steps. One through 30. It's allowed people to jump straight to 100. Fuck you. Cut his <laughs> job off. Take him down. You should be dead. Oh, God. Fucking can't stand this. Whatever the hate or the anger is. When listen, when listen, okay, when I listen and I can change, I'm not that guy. We're doing these weird things now that people aren't taking the time to sit and think through. What I've understood is that what people are doing has nothing to do with me. I should always be a step ahead because I'm thinking differently, because I'm thinking about myself. Making myself better puts me in a position to make others better. Be the example, not the problem. The best way to take away the problem is to alienate yourself from it. These are these are just thoughts. Oh. These are fucking thoughts. I can go through and just read it. This is a so you just have these philosophies. This, this is the way you live your life, and you just just speak it. That's it. Just speak it. Damn. So now this is all transcript. Look how long this is. That's incredible. This is all fucking transcript. This is all. So I just go back throughout the day and I read it and I say, this is great. This makes sense. This didn't. Let me reword this. Let me make sure that it's all flowing together. And at the end of the day, what's my reason for the book? My reason for the book is to make people better. My reason for the book is to make people understand, yo, we all are great. We all should think that we're great. There's no reason for you to not think that you're great. If you don't think you're great, Ask yourself why. Why don't you think the highest of yourself? When you do, people have no have no choice but to follow suit. Mm. You have no choice but to follow suit. Well, a lot of people, they base it on their past. They base it on the life that they've experienced up until this moment. Makes you better. Yeah, it does make you better. Makes you better, makes yeah. you smarter. Yeah. A we life need to no hear rocks. a guy like you say it. Yeah, man. That's what's interesting about it. That's oh, what's yeah. interesting about life. You can hear a guy like you say that, and then it changes your perspective, and then you'll go out and take action that you might not have taken before. I got a 585 on my SAT. Confessions. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even take my hey, confessions. They give you 400 for putting your name on a paper. It's a true story. Wow. I guessed A-B-A-C-A-D-A. -A -A. I did abacadabba all the way down. <laughs> It's a true story. <laughs> Swear to God. <laughs> Hand on my mother's grave. A-B-A-C-A-D-A. -A -A. All the way fuck. down. I didn't care because it was a class trip that same day. I wanted to go Great Adventure. <laughs> I was told that not taking my SAT seriously would prohibit me from furthering myself in life. That's what I was told. At the moment, I said, damn, maybe I should have Maybe I should have applied myself. Maybe I should have did different. When I saw all my friends get their test scores back and they were ecstatic, 800s, 900s, 960s, everybody's going to college. I felt like the biggest idiot in the fucking world. The biggest idiot in the fucking world. Because the same people that I went and rushed to go to Great Adventure with, they had taken the SAT the week before. They already got their work done. Mm. They did everything they were supposed to do. So that moment of fun was real fun for them. I was the only dumbass that didn't prioritize and take care of my shit. So I'm the only one going to community college. 
Everybody else off to Villanova, Temple University, Drexel University. God damn. I just got left behind. Why didn't y'all tell me that y'all did it the week before? How come y'all ain't tell me that we was serious about the college shit? Y'all ain't tell me y'all was trying to go to Temple or Drexel? Oh, wait. It's because my life isn't their life. They, they're focused on themselves. Wow, they're, they're doing what they're supposed to do. Hey, jackass. Go sit by yourself and figure it out because this is where you should be. Lesson learned. Any opportunity given should be taken serious from this point on. Because if not, you can find yourself feeling just like this. So I didn't get down on myself for the fucking moment. I learned from it. I learned from it. Now, if I got to take a goddamn test, you best believe I'm studying for that fucking test because I don't want the feeling like I'm the guy mm. that didn't prepare. Now I got a story to tell my kids about what it feels like to be the kid in class that didn't prepare that's got the worst grade when they give all those grades back. But it's because of my experience. I don't look down on those moments. You take those moments, you make the best of them because they're life lessons. It's that simple. You're saying it's positive, but it's really just simplicity that's real. It's real. It's real and it's your life experience and it's your life's lessons. 100%. But, but the fact that a guy like you comes out and talks about it like that, that's where it makes it really powerful because it's not just something that you learn from, but now other people can learn from your past too. That's what I'm hoping. And they look at themselves and they, they, they realize like we all start from a different spot. You're not the same. Yeah. This is why I'm so candid. I'm so candid. I'm so open. There, there, there is no like... Guys, I'm, I'm fine with being an open book. I'm fine with the good, the bad, the ugly. I'm fine being flawed. I'm fine with all the things that have happened to me that have been exposed. I'm fine with it all. I don't hide from it. I don't run from it. I don't, I don't uh, avoid any of it. I'm fine. It's all right. It's a bed that I, I made for myself. I happily lay in it. And I'll be fine figuring it out moving forward. Sun don't stop for nobody, man. Sun don't fucking stop. Sun gonna be up in the morning regardless. That sun is gonna be up in the morning regardless. Regardless of how I fucking feel and how depressed I am, the sun is gonna fucking shine in the morning. And at nighttime, the moon gonna be there. And you gonna look up, these days gonna keep going by. So do you let the days go by and look up and you done wasted a year doing what? Or do you just pick it up? All right. Well, Got to figure it out. Made some mistakes. Life goes on. Let me figure out life from this point. I'm a life goes on type of guy.